What's going on, family? Robert here. Jude is writing his epistle to the church. This epistle that he decided to write about contending for the faith, expressing the faith, because people had crept into the church, people who were causing division, people who were ungodly, people who were devoid of the Spirit of the Lord. And as Jude talked about these people, and as he said that they were within the body, he told the church that this should not surprise them or shock them, simply because the apostle, the apostle had already spoken that these things would occur. And so for us in our lives, the question is, how do we respond when people in our lives cause division? How do we respond when people cause division? Uh, things in our life to become difficult or challenged? How do we respond to the ungodly? And I believe in verse 20 of this one letter epistle of Jude, he gives us the answer. It says, But you, beloved, build yourselves up in your most holy faith. Pray in the Holy Spirit. Keep yourselves in the love of God waiting for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ that leads to eternal life. And have mercy on those who doubt. Save others by snatching them out of the fire. To others show mercy with fear, hating even the garment stained by the flesh. Again, but you, beloved, build yourselves up in your most holy faith. The very first thing Jude tells the church the church that is experiencing these people coming in and causing problems, causing division, being scoffers or preaching false doctrine, following after bad theology, he tells them that they are to build themselves up. They are to build themselves up in their holy faith. They are to build themselves up in the faith. What does that mean? Very simply, brothers and sisters, all that means is that they are continually seeking to follow what the Bible says, reading it, understanding it, and applying it. Let me say that one more time in case you missed it. Here in the text, Jude is telling them that as people come in and are chirping things all off in the church, or chirping things all off here and there, he is telling them to build up your faith, to continue to read the word, read it daily. He's telling them to continue to apply what they have learned in their lives. He's telling them to continue to build up their most holy faith. So the question for us is, are we continuing to stay in the faith? Are we continuing to build ourselves in the faith that we have? Have we let our times of daily devotion slide off a bit? Have we allowed our Bible reading to maybe fall by the wayside? Have we stopped praying or engaging with fellow believers? Let me encourage you today, if, if anything, one of those is, is if, I, if I'm on your street, let me encourage you today to get back to it, to get back to building that faith that you profess. That is the way that we're able to stand against those who have, who cause division, stand against those who mock or ridicule our faith, stand against those in our households, on our jobs, or at our schools that are coming up against us. We must have strong faith, faith that is built upon the word of the Lord. So let me encourage you today that if you feel like your faith is faltering, get back into the word, get back into reading it daily. Don't just listen to my daily devotionals, even though I'm glad you are, but instead, get into the Word for yourself. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for showing us the first aspect of what we are to do, and that is to build our faith, to continue to grow, to continue to develop, to continue to expand the knowledge that we have about you. Because the more that we know about you, the less that we are consumed with, what, with others. Help us, Lord, to focus on you and to build ourselves and grow in you. In Jesus' name and for his sake we pray. Amen. 
So thank you for studying with me. Come back as we continue to look at some of these attributes of being able to handle scoffers from Jude. God bless. Thank you.